Hello, I'm Adam from the Felicity Solar. Felicity Solar specializes in solar energy storage technology with 18 years of the industrial experience. What truly sets us apart is not only our products but also our excellent after sales support. In short, we deliver peace of mind through both reliable products and excellent customer service. Uh, now let's go on to the side of LFP to Adams. What makes LFP a reliable choice for long-term energy storage systems? LFP is excels in long-term applications due to the three cost attributes. First one is exception cycle life. FLP batteries can support up to 6,000 circles while retaining 18 percentage. Uh, capacity this reduced replacement cost over decades. The second is the thermal stability. FLP chemistry resists thermal runaway, maintaining safety even at high temperature. The last one is the low safe discharge. They lose only 3% discharge monthly, ideal for the seasonal energy storage. Adams, my last question for this round. How does LFP perform in continuous daily cycling scenarios? LFP they rise under daily use. First one is the zero maintenance needs. No memory effect or mandatory for discharges. Second one is stable voltage output. Delivers consistent power even below 20% state of charge preventing system shutdowns. Adams, LFP chemistry is often said to underperform in cold climates. What's the rationale for choosing it over sodium iron? The sodium batteries excel in cold, but LFP remains superior overall. The first one is um, we have the build a solution is building a stale kit to address cold issues. The last one is the total cost ad advantage. LFP's longer life spent, lowest lifetime cost. Now back to Adams. Now that sodium ions catching up to LFP in both energy and lifespan, do you think LFP still has the upper hand when it comes to performance and durability? Cycle life leadership is the first point. Sodium battery reach 4,000 cycles, but LLP we are more than 10,000 in next generation designs. And the last one is because market adoption. LLP holds 60% global batteries market share in 2025, which are the investments five times higher than sodium battery. Sodium ion batteries handle heat and stress really well. So why is LFP still seen as the safer option today, Adams? LFP's safety is unmatched. The first one is the inert chemistry. Does not decompose below 350 degrees, while sodium battery can oxidize violent it under stress. The second one is the zero thermal to run away. No fire risk even when punch light critical for homes. Sodium iron is greener. So how does LFP stay environmentally competitive? LFP's sustainability is evolving. The first one is the nickel free uses abandoned island, which avoided over mining. The last one is for the carbon footprint. So the battery lives here, but LFP production emissions are dropping 12% yearly via renewable power factories.